This week, it's all about speed, competition, determination to win. I'm currently in the, one of the pit buildings at the Silverstone International Motor Racing Circuit. This is where the uh, Grand Prix takes place. Today is an amazing race. I'm actually racing with um, Little Ilford School. You'll see the cars in a moment. They are truly extraordinary. They're built by the teams that race them. They allowed me to be one of their team members, which means they're going to go. They are risking the championship. Green Power is an educational trust which runs and organises competitions between schools from all over the country. Each team builds their own car, but they have exactly the same battery pack, electric motor and control system. The children come from all backgrounds, fairly deprived neighbourhoods like Little Ilford School, the team I'm driving with, but there are teams from big grammar and technical schools and even Eton College. Yes, there's some very privileged young chaps here too. And the day we spent at Silverstone was very, very wet. So I'm here with a very retiring young woman who, who never says anything. It's very hard to get her to talk. Shamida, <laughs> who's running this team. Now, your team is from... Manor local. Park, which is the east side of London. Right. Green Power as a, as a racing... Uh, competition. Yes. It, it was already in, in existence. Is that, is yes. that right? And then you That's heard right. about it and said, "I want to put a car into that." Yes. Well, what happened was um, we uh, were introduced by London Engineering Project to the engineering clubs. Right. And that's how I started a club at our school. Right. Part of um, signing up to the London Engineering Project was that we would get a green power car, right. we would build it, and then we would race it. 2007, we started building. Right. 2008, we raced in our first right. race. This then came to us in. 2008 and then we raced it for the first time in 2009 right. when you put it together in two weeks wow this is actually a new body kit on it majority of everything that we used we recycled a lot of that also teaches children about the, econo uh, the economy and yeah. the environment itself yeah. Yeah. because there's no point buying new things all the time yes. and just chucking everything else away no, yeah. fantastic yeah. so what, but what is amazing is the commitment of your students so you not only have you got kids who are at school now but yes. you even got kids who were at your school yes. who come back and volunteer to help run it I and mean, when i got in the car they were really they were like a formula one pit team yes. they? they strapped in they, they were checking everything I pulling you tightly yeah, yeah. Yes. they were really really keen on it aren't they? so yeah. so part of the, the racing thing then is to swap the drivers fairly fast I mean, yes. when, you're, when you're actually running a race. This morning it's an 80, race, uh, 80 minute race for the students and a four, four hour race for us adults as right. the corporate team. Right, but, that, but what's wonderful though is the enthusiasm of the, of the children at your school, obviously, re and, and boys and girls, I mean, because yes. a lot of people think, oh, it's engineering, it's mechanics, it's boys, but look, the girls are fantastic. They're girls really are better cool. drivers. Um, Our driver who's driving with us in the corporate challenge later on, she's very good at ending races, even with batteries that are literally falling apart. Right. We're actually looking into engineering apprenticeships that right. she could get into. Right. So we've um, we've arranged some career interviews and stuff for her right. and she wants to go down that apprenticeship route right. rather than going to university right. itself. So I'm here with the team now. I, I, I don't know what, because I've now had a go in this car very briefly. I can tell, I can verify that it moves, it goes along, and, it, and these wheels splash dirty mud right up into your eye, which is really cool. But just tell me briefly what it is then, so because you, you know it backwards. It's literally just a, a, a go-kart powered by two batteries and a motor. Right. The brakes are on the front side, Yeah. yeah and it's one-wheel drive. This is the acceleration button here. Yeah. This is their switch for the car, yeah. and then the, on, the horn button's over there, and the brake is the brake. Right. How are these two tyres? And they're just like brakes that you get on a push bike, like yeah. disc brakes on a push bike. But they work yeah. well though. This is what we use at, um, in school for right. practice. We use like um, old tyres, right. bikes, which is really good. And just, uh, keeps but these tyres, these are different. So you wouldn't have these on a bike. These, these are, are the proper these are racing tyres. Yeah, slick yeah. racing tyres. You now have you all driven it in races? Yeah. You've all driven it. And that, so, I mean, had you ever driven anything else before, like a go-kart or a car or anything else? So this is, this is the first thing you've ever driven. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. And we built it. That's the best and part. And you built it as well, which is amazing. I'm going to ask a really contentious question. Who's a better driver? Is, there, is it... Because I've heard that you're quite good. It's me. Is it you? It's me, of course. He does the pits. <laughs> Soon it was my turn in the car. Now I'm not going to pretend it was easy getting in, but once I'd been strapped in by the very professional pit crew, it was surprisingly comfortable. Although, as I was about to discover, not very waterproof. Okay, I'm going 
going flat out. I, I guess I'm close to uh, 27 miles an hour now. Uh, the car feels very stable and responsive. It corners well, there's, there's no power steering. I'm going flat out now, maybe close to 32 miles an hour. Oh my god, I'm going flat out and I'm being overtaken by a 12 year old. I, I can't actually see where I'm going. This is driving by guesswork. I don't wish to go into any detail, but my gentleman's bottom area is very, very moist. Oh no, I'm being overtaken again. I bet that was Eton School. Damn it, the kid driving that could be the next David Cameron. Come on, little Elford, you can do it! I don't think I've ever been so relieved to pull into a pit lane. Brilliant fun, though. I wish I'd been able to drive one of these when I was 11. So from a classic dripping wet cold day in the summer in England in Silverstone, there it goes again, it's still going around the track. I did a measly two laps, it's going to be going for another hour or so. The dedication and the enthusiasm of the kids here is amazing. Really, really uplifting. I've had a brilliant day, even though I'm soaking wet and freezing cold. So that's it for this week. See you again soon.